Alban, round of 66, bogey free. Very well done. What's it like to go bogey free around St Andrews? Uh, very happy. I mean, I feel like I played pretty smart today and gave myself a lot of opportunities and definitely having less wind uh, was an advantage in the morning. And so I just tried to capitalize on that and played some good golf. And were you always the intention to try and get a really good score today, knowing that you were early? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I feel like the last two days I actually hit the ball really well and just wasn't able to putt well. <laughs> um, but I think it was really with the wind, it was just so hard to gauge, you know, distances and uh, I felt the game was in a good spot, so I just try to give my best today. And in terms of your game, what were you doing best out there? Um, I feel like Tita Green, I was pretty solid all day. I mean, I hit some great tee shots, some really good iron shots close, you know, to the pins, and then managed to convert some putts, so overall solid. And how have you found your week at St Andrews? What's it been like being around this place? Can't complain. I mean, this is the home of golf. Um, this was definitely a highlight of my schedule this year. This is one I definitely did not want to miss, and it's so special to be here. And, I mean, AIG has done such a great job over the past few years giving us great venues. I mean, Cardinals, T. Murfield, and now St. Andrews. What, what else can you ask for? And I know you've got family here with you. What's it like experiencing this with just them? Just my dad, just my dad. <laughs> yeah. um, I love having him around. I mean, he knows my game better than anyone, and he's just always such great support. So happy to have him. And in terms of tomorrow, what are you looking forward to? Just excited to keep playing golf, you know. Um, this is such a great course. I just love how strategic it is, and you can play it so many different ways, and it just changes so much with the wind. I mean, you could have, you know, I think on the front line, I had like six club difference sometimes between the first day and today. So it's just really fun. I'm really enjoying Lynx golf right now, and we'll see. I'll just try my best. And I know you just saw Suzanne. When you finished <laughs> your round, what did she say to you? She said, good round. Uh, <laughs> she said, good playing. I mean, just very nice of her. Perfect, thank you. Thanks. Sorry. Yeah, just to follow up on that. So pretty good time to play a good round in front of the uh, Cat Sun Cup captain sat on 18. Can you just talk about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously slime is a big goal of mine, but um, I'm just outside on the bubble, you know, so I'm just trying to play good golf. And I just told myself at the beginning of the year, you know, good golf will take care of itself. So that's really all I can do. There's so many great European players. It's super competitive to be on that team. And all I can do is... Just do my best. And how tough is it to put that out of your mind while you're sort of competing for a major championship? I think it's extra motivation. You know, it's definitely, it's been such a big goal of mine ever since I was a little kid. And um, I feel like I'm close to earning that spot. So I'm just, you know, actually, that's a pretty good fuel, you know, as motivation. It's, it would be a dream and an honor to be on that team. And all I can do is try my best. Perfect. Thanks very much. Thank you.